Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. And I'd just like to continue this discussion uh, about unifying the mind. You know, there are various kinds of telepathy. You can look up the blogs on that. These two that I've been working with, they're telepathy with the lower mental mind and the higher mental mind. Then we have superconscious telepathy, and higher than that even. And and telepathy with the cells. There's just a lot of possibilities out there. Ways to communicate with all that is. So now dudes, I know I haven't talked about this much before, but the thing that we're after, after we've unified our mind field for the lower mental body and the higher mental body, as soon as we're pretty much in agreement over just about everything most of the time, then the thing to do is to develop the superconscious mind and the awareness, place the awareness there. That'll get rid of what is called in some of my blogs the, uh, the bow tie knot at the eighth chakra, the, the oversoul do's and don'ts, so that you can then, as soon as that line is free up there above the head, the, the hara line above the head is freed up and untied up by societal expectations of like large overlord groups up there <laughs> and not to mention astral overlord groups up there too. You know, albeit in the heaven world's negative or positive, all right, as soon as our hara line higher and lower is entirely our own, then we can communicate with the stars, even Alpha Centauri. So, there are various civilizations that are spoken of, all of whom we might attempt communication with. We have the Syrians, the Pleiadians, for instance, the Arcturians, the Alpha Centaurians. Find out which of these resonate with your own soul uh, experience. And um, we also have the star libraries. We have the library of Earth and the solar system. And so that's a place to start with knowledge of Earth and the solar system. We can get as far as the vast star library of Alpha Centauri if we wish. We can ask there of the guardians of that library and we can find out whatever it is that we need to know through the wisdom that's accumulated there in the divine, in the, in the grace of the divine. So quite an exploration to undergo in the process of unifying mind with the great mind of God.